Hello everybody, this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to The Simple Quilter. I have a really exciting video for all of you today. So Wes purchased a toolbox from Harbor Freight and he let me empty it up. Well, he and I both emptied it up and um, he's letting me use it for this video. And I'm going to show you how you can transform this toolbox into a storage unit for your quilt room and it is fun and it has a lot of neat features to it that I think you're going to like and for those of you that do applique I have a friend my friend Ray she uses one of the wooden toolboxes and she lives in another town but she sent me pictures of how she uses her that toolbox for applique storage so be sure you watch to the very end especially if you're one of those who love applique because she loves this box and she's taken some good pictures to show you how she uses it for storage okay so let's get started okay so here is the toolbox that we're going to be looking at and I'm going to show you how I kind of transformed this into a storage unit you can use in your quilt room and honestly if my quilt room weren't so full I would love to have one of these. I love this green color that Wes chose but since red's my favorite color I might have been tempted to get the red. But anyway let me show you how um, I have put stuff in this for storage for your quilt room. So one of the neat features of this is it has a lid that comes down and locks. So if you have young children or young grandchildren, you can put your rotary cutters and needles and sharp things in here and lock that when they come over, if you need to. Another neat thing is this lid is hydraulic and it raises up. So the first thing, you can put all of those neat metal pin holders right up there. You can hold your clips. These are the big clips. These are the little clips. And of course, those are pins. And of course, these come in awesome colors. <laughs> I went and bought the green one too. Wes has a green one also, but this one's mine. But these are just magnetic and you can put them up there to store all kinds of metal things. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is um, there's a lot of accessories, like this tray. And that is one strong magnet that can be used to hold another tray. Now in this tray, I've put neat little things like my little Lori Holt cup, my rotary cutters, uh, of course, my magnetic extension tool that I love, and my little bitty one, both from Harbor Freight, um, my seam ripper, my tape measures. But you could put all kinds of things in that tray. Now, if you have a small storage space, this is really great because this has a very large storage capacity. I was amazed at how much it could hold. Okay, so I'm going to do a little close-up at the top of this so you can kind of see down inside this. Okay, so we're looking right down into the um, toolbox here, and let me show you some of the neat neat features. There are some little holes here on either side. There's these two little sections on either side and they have these little holes. And you can see I've just slipped my scissors down in some of those. Um, you could maybe put some of your sticky rollers. The handles on my sticky rollers are too big to fit in those. But I like putting my wooden clappers right there because they fit perfectly. And on this side I have another smaller clapper right there. Over here, I've also put my little wooden roller and then my pinking shears. And there's a little bit of room left there where you could put, you know, you could put screwdrivers, you could put all kinds of um, tools there. You could put your sticky roller if it had a smaller handle. My handle's kind of big, but I know there are some small sticky rollers that would fit perfectly there. Okay, now I kind of got creative and I put my little jars here because I like those jars and the lid will shut with those jars there. Um, just some ideas that I had. You could put your jelly rolls here. Now, 
some people have been concerned about that uh, industrial kind of plastic smell from Harbor Freight, but the trays, each of the trays has these mats, and these mats can be taken out. And these mats smell, have that smell just a little bit, but these are removable. So you could take those out, and I do believe you could store your jelly rolls and pre-cuts in here. Now, you could line this with a piece of fabric or a piece of foam, whatever suits you, if you're concerned about your fabric touching metal. I think the only time that might be a concern is if it got rusted, but um, anyway, just food for thought on there. Uh, this is just some pre-cuts that have, this is just some uh, charm packs and then just some of the uh, cupcake recipe cards that you can use for piecing. I put my little uh, magnifying lens in there, my little cutters that I love so much. Now, um, you can also use, you know, trays like this. Like here I put some more of the pins and of course I use lots of notepads and the different glues that I use. So you can see how that works. Now the nice thing about it, you saw how all this can collapse. These can lay down flat. That's my spray starch and my spray basting. And you can move this over and this piece will fit right back down there. And you can close the lid. If you needed to. But I really like the lid open because I like the additional storage space that you get. Okay, but I thought that was really cool. Then over here on the side, let me see if I can tilt this down some more. Over here on the side is a little trough. And it, it came with this one. It's not an accessory, but it came with this. And you, what a great way to store your design boards. And it can hold a lot more design boards than that. Another neat feature is this is on rollers, so it is easy to move around. Okay, so I wanted to show you this feature. Now, these are some more of those accessories. These are those magnets that I purchased. And these are actually on sale this week, I think. Um, but this is a great way to store rulers. Look how great that works. Now Wes bought this additional accessory that I think is super cool that can be used for your things like your best press and your mister bottles. Oh, I think that's so cool. Okay, so let's take a look at what I've put in some of these drawers. Now these are just some ideas. Like I said, Wes let me borrow this. But these are some things that I think you can put in here. Now here's a neat feature about these drawers. They lock and there's a little lever there that you have to slide over to open them up. But here are a couple of ideas for these really shallow drawers that I thought would be great. I think your little um, rulers are a great way. Uh, this is a great place to store these. Now you could also use your um, triangle papers or your paper piecing. These rolls fit nicely in here. And if you have a bunch of them, you could just line those that, that whole drawer up. And I thought that would be really cool. Oh man, I, this is such a neat thing. Now in here, I just put all of my Aerofill thread. So you can see how much storage you could use if you have a small space. This could store so much of your stuff. And if you don't have a large amount, it could hold most everything other than perhaps some of your, if you have a big store of uh, fabric stash, it's not probably going to hold all that. And then I put my needles in there. In this drawer, I put all of my Bernina accessories. Now in this drawer, I put some of my pre-cuts, 
but you could use this for all kinds of things. Um, I thought that if you use a lot of fusibles, because this is a shallow drawer and it's long, what a great place to store your fusibles. Now I have a lot more than this, but um, I just wanted to give you an idea of what would fit nicely in this, in this container. And some of your others that aren't quite so long could fit in that way if you have room at the end there. Now the next drawer, I've put fat quarters in. Now this is how I fold my fat quarters and I'll just put these back in my drawer. But I wanted to show you how you could um, fit these in this drawer. Now in my drawer, I turn them this way so I can see all that but it wouldn't quite fit in there but all you have to do to make to fold fabric so that it fits see how nice these fit and if I were going to use this I would refold all my fabrics just like this and all you have to do for any fabric space is just cut a piece of cardboard um, this is that poster board uh, is just cut a piece of fabric the depth that you need and just roll your fabric up on it and you can get your fabric to fit any space you need it to to fit just by doing that quick little easy trip and you can just use you can just use cardboard but you ha that you have, but look how neat that would look. If I were to do all that, it would probably allow me to put in another row of fabric. You can even store them upright like that or like that. I like it like that because you have a little bit more area to view your fabrics, but I thought that was really neat. Okay, then down here on the very bottom, these are what I use for, like, this is my binding box, and I put a lot of UFOs in these, but these are put out by Art Bin, and I believe these are 15 by 15 inches, and because this is 30 inches, this holds them just, this is just perfect for those. just perfect for those and you can actually stack four on that side and four on this side so you have eight storage boxes that can be held there the art bin storage boxes right here I forgot to show you this you can put little scissors in these little compartments right there now you may have some other ideas on how this toolbox could be used. If you do, you can put those in the link below. But now don't go away because I have more to tell you. Now my friend Ray used to live here in town, but since then she's moved to another town that's quite a drive away. But she and two other friends and I, I think I've told you this before, we have a little group chat going and we text each other a lot. And um, when I did my video on Harbor Freight, she sent me a picture of one of the wooden chests that she purchased quite some time ago and she purchased it to hold her applique quilts. Now if you go to my UFO group on Facebook you will see some of her quilts and she is an amazing appliqueer. So if you like to applique and want to see some beautiful quilts check that out. But anyway on to the storage unit. She purchased this wooden toolbox and uh, she had sent me a picture, well, she sent all of us a picture of it, and we talked back and forth about it. And then I talked to her this morning, and I'm like, hey, Ray, can you tell me a little bit more about it? She sent me pictures, and I'm going to put, the, put those pictures up so you can see how she utilizes this. Now, some of the things that she really liked about this uh, toolbox is that it is heavy. She said it was heavy and it was very well built and she loves the storage capacity of this. She puts it right next to her favorite chair to applique in and um, 
I don't know, she just loves it. So I wanted to share this. I asked her if she'd find it sharing the pictures, and she's like, oh, no. So she sent me pictures of the different drawers and what she stores in them. So I'm going to put up a series of pictures of how she's utilized that storage chest. Now, I recently saw this the same storage chest at Harbor Freight, and it was uh, it was on sale. It, had, it was a pretty good sale, and she had a coupon, and she got hers, she said, about 50% off. So if you're interested in one of these, check the sales, check their website, watch for sales, and if you're really wanting one of those, you can keep your eye out for sales for that. Now, I do want to tell you, some of the drawers are a little empty, but she said it's because there's so much storage capacity in there. So she has room to grow her, her uh, stash of supplies, but anyway, here are those pictures. Oh, another neat feature of this toolbox that she has is that it locks. So again, if you need to keep it, keep your sharps and stuff, if you need to keep grandchildren or children away from it, uh, the sharps that you might have in there, you can lock it to help keep them safe if you need to. So she liked that too. But um... Okay, so I have to tell you, I don't get a kickback or anything from Harbor Freight. I really just wanted to share these ideas with you. I think that Harbor Freight, it was such a fun place for me to visit and I thought it had some really cool, pretty inexpensive ideas for quilters. If you have any comments that you'd like to put on ways that you use these toolboxes, please put that in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Please share with a friend. And as always, leave those comments. I love to get the comments, and I try to reply to each and every one. So until next time, have fun quilting.